What is up? It's your boy Johnny Shreve, I, BB Pro, Mr. Tell Like It Is. Welcome back to the episode of Straight Talk with Shreve. Hey guys, we're bringing to you again my top three overrated and underrated quad movements. Dive right into it. First up on the list, guys, yes, it's gonna be barbell back squats. It's a popular lift. Everybody likes to do them. And it's one of those big three that people think that they have to do to build whatever they're trying to do, whether it's bench press, deadlifts, or squats. For some reason, the barbell back squats is the end all be all for leg development. And yes, it is a great leg developer, but guys, you're gonna get more so that good old glute activation in there. And there are other movements that are better overall. Guys, the squat is a movement pattern. How you load that pattern makes a big difference. And to be honest, guys, not a lot of people can do back squats. And again, you don't have to do just back squats to build legs. There are other movements you can do that will help build your quads. So guys, up on the list for number one, going to be my barbell back squats. Number two on that list, guys, and I'm pretty sure most people are like, I don't like it in the first place. But regardless, Bulgarian split squats. Bulgarian split squats for me is not the best quad builder. It's great unilateral exercise to do. It's great. It does put a lot of stress on, you know, your quads, but there's also a lot of stress on your hip flexor. You know, some people load up wrong and they're hitting more glutes than anything else. You're not getting full extension. So when it comes to the quad getting the biggest benefit from any movement is going to be when it gets into a full flex position and then a full extended position. The Bulgarian split squats are great, but they just don't give that full range for it to be a great quad exercise. It's a good exercise to do. If you like doing them, continue to do them. When it comes to an overrated exercise for quads, there are other movements in that pattern that trump Bulgarian split squats. So guys, that's number two on my list. Number three, guys, I don't know how many people do these, but I've seen them before, sissy squats. It's a great exercise to do 100%. Guys, these are all good exercises. When I'm talking about overrated, I'm saying overrated because there are other movements you can do that are hit the quads just as much or just better. Again, we're doing sissy squats, you can't load it as much. It's one of those kind of finishing movements to do. And if you're doing it wrong, you're gonna get a lot of stress on the knee. But again, guys, you should have healthy knees to begin with. When it comes to loading this movement and it being a great quad exercise under a load, just for me, it's overrated. Don't shoot me. But again, if you like doing the movement, you go right ahead, continue. For those of you who are on the fence and you just have in your program for some reason, or someone just said, you gotta do sissy squats to grow your quads, there are other movements that are a lot better. And this is my third on my overrated list of quad exercise. Hey, what's good, people? Struggling to keep up with your routine or you feel like you're just spinning the wheels? Well, you came to the right place. Check out the link in the description below for my customized one-time training or nutrition plans. I'm also offering online coaching with weekly check-ins and unlimited contact with myself. And look, if you don't want to dive in right away and you have some questions, book yourself a video call with myself. And at the end of the consult, I deduct off any package that you pick. Anyway, guys, let's get back to the show. All right, let's go to the underrated quad exercises. Number one on that list, guys, for me is going to be hack squats. Yes, just like barbell squats being the end all be all, hack squats are highly overlooked for some reason. It's a great move to do that's going to take the load off of your spine. It's gonna let you get into a great full deep stretch and full range of motion. And it puts you in a great position to just be able to focus on engaging the quads and isolating the quads as well. So for me, guys, hack squats are going to be on my list. And number one for most underrated quad movements. Number two up on there, guys, one of my favorite movements to do, and that is going to be the elevated step ups. You do them the Smith machine or you do them with a dumbbell. I love these because, again, what the Bulgarian split squats don't allow you to do, this one does. Number one, you're going to be able to get into an elevated position. So on the way down, you're going to get a great amount of knee flexion. And then it does allow you to get all the way up to extend in the knee and the hip. So not only are you gonna hit the glutes as well too, but you're going to get the full range of motion and a great isolation on your quads. And trust me, I did this for your entire prep. These things suck in a good way. That's my number two for underrated quad exercises. Number three for my most underrated quad movements is the one that gets the most flack. Everyone says you're gonna have knee problems if you do them. If you do them right, you're not. Leg extensions are 100% the most underrated quad movement. Some people just take it out of their program completely. But for me guys, this is that movement that is going to literally do exactly what the quad is intended to do, which is basically knee extension. Leg extension machines put it in a great position where you can get a good amount of knee flexion where your leg come underneath of you and then fully contracted where you're getting full extension. It's a great move to do, great exercise to do, and using a leg extension machine is gonna allow you to load the weight, progressive overload in a linear fashion, and it's gonna keep 
the muscle isolated the entire time. Take these three underrated exercises, put them in a workout. Check it out. This is what you're gonna do. You're gonna get a good warm up first. We're gonna start off doing hack squats. Four hard sets, five to 15 reps, three second negative, one second pause at the bottom, stretch, keep engaged the entire time, and then you're gonna rest at least two minutes so you can cool off so you can do it again for those remainder three hard sets. Then you're gonna go into elevated step ups. Three hard sets of those, 10 to 15 reps, two second negative down, one second pause at the bottom, fire right back up. Again, rest about two minutes until you're cool off again. Then we're gonna hammer it again for two hard sets. And then you're gonna finish it off with some leg extensions being like, what the heck? Why did you put leg extension at the very end? Well, for that reason, you don't gotta worry about anything else but just sit in that machine, get a full range of motion, and take that thing to town. Whatever you have left in terms of energy makes you load the weight properly that you have a manageable weight to do. And then you're gonna take that thing for about 10 to 15 reps, two second negative down, nice stretch at the bottom, fire right back up, come right back down again, 10 to 15 reps, three hard sets, two minute rest, do it again for the remainder two hard sets. Guys, give that workout a try. Let me know how it goes in the comment section below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And guys, make sure you grab my ebook. The Final Diet is out right now. It's in the link in the description below. Make sure we are recovering properly with the nutrition and all the answers are in that book. I promise you, everything I've done for my prep, I use all those methods in that book. It is yours to have the same knowledge for you in the most simplistic way. Get it right now, guys. It's in the link in the description below. Anyway, guys, till next time, binge watch my videos. And you guys know how it is. Iron sharp is iron. Progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep dream chasing. Peace.